In this tutorial we'll go into aggregating and summarizing uh, data with Python and we'll use the pandas library which is a data analysis uh, a module or library. So the actual data we're using in this example is forex data so you can get it on hisdata.com or uh, so, so that's a site where you can get the forex data. So this is actual data you're looking at is uh, trading data between uh, euro and dollar. So one euro would give you 0 0.93 United States dollar. Uh, and they, this value changes over time. So it's actual real trading data of the year 2000. So you'll see that it's changing in time. And uh, so one thing we could do is, uh, let me just remove the previous app. To load it, to load this file, so I'll type import pandas. It's a comma separated value file, so not an uh, Excel file. But uh, pandas works with Excel as well, as you'll see in a later video. So we'll import uh, pandas and uh, we load the module, or we load the data. So we type data is pandas.read, comma separated value file. And you'd need the actual file name and close it. And then we can get interesting values. So let's say we want uh, from the uh, row close, we want to have the number of items. So we can simply call count. If you run it, you see that we have 100. 40,000 items, a little more. Uh, you can also get like the mean, uh, the minimum, and all the other values. So there's a whole bunch of values you can uh, get. Uh, um, let me see. Yeah, so you can get the, the count, uh, the summation of values using sum, uh, the mean, and various other values. So quite a lot of things you can uh, get. Uh, so let me just show you right here. You can get the count, the sum, mean, and all types of values uh, from that data set. So it's a very easy way to get data uh, information on data and notice that on the trading data we have several uh, values uh, by, by time so every several minutes or so we have new values and this data goes on on several days so we have here the 30th day and you see different days uh, right here so it's another day then for example here and one thing we can do is aggregate this data so to show the value by day instead of by uh, every 10 minutes or so so to do so um, we'll simply print data and this data will be grouped by uh, every item in the column date which is the or the row date which is all of these and for every item in that so every x at first and then you'll see we made a typo um, need another closing one here so it, we group it by date for every X so we group it by the same number so these are all the same uh, so these will be grouped and then we'll say uh, first one of that set so if we run it it takes a while to load but we see for every date uh, the value and so 29, 28, and every day we see the forex 
uh, rates so this is the closing uh, data as you'll see here so that's an easy way to to summarize the data uh, so to aggregate the data so aggregating by the same date